Hello and welcome. So I've recently watched this uh, video from uh, Luke Smith about how to fix your terrible hipster distro when it breaks and well my response is something I titled how to not fix a broken arch install because what he actually talks about in his video is well not really considered um, back, uh, best practice. So if we go to the arch wiki we can see this is the method that he talks about. So basically these uh, are these three uh, paragraphs that he shows in his video and well basically this is kind of akin to a situation where you partially update your system which is uh, not really a suggested thing to do on Arch Linux and so in this video I would like to clear up why this uh, method that he suggests is not a good idea and why you should do something else instead. And so let's go back to the uh, slideshow. So if uh, we think about how the dependencies work in Linux, well, we have a lot of different programs and a uh, lot of different files and shared objects and whatever. So these things basically um, create like this very, very inter <laughs> A network of packages so these different packages are handled by the package manager but there is there are dependencies so maybe a basic library which contains some basic very basic functionality is used by a few different backend packages which serve as a like a backend for user facing applications or maybe some like a graphical toolkit is built on some of these backend programs and maybe like some graphical applications are using this toolkit or maybe even some application uses another application's functionality so it is a dependency of that. So you can see that this case it's like the binaries should be uh, very uh, well organized in a way so just as what uh, in Luke's video is what's happening is that his application is looking for a uh, shared object from its, uh, its, I think it's a Lua library, so it's like a, related to the programming language in which the software was written in, but it doesn't find the binary it's looking for because the binary have been updated. So that's kind of why it's a very intricate thing that your binaries of, in these packages should relate to each other in a way that they expect each other to uh, be there. So if we go to Arch Linux, for example, in Arch Linux we know that there are a lot of updates. So basically I uh, made a video recently about this. Uh, so I will link that and, and you can find a link to that video. But basically what is going on in Arch Linux is that you have all these different uh, packages with different versions and maybe you know this one, this uh, this basic library has been updated to a new version and now all these other packages will not work. So what should happen in this case is that all these packages should be rebuilt so these uh, backend libraries will be uh, recompiled against this new version of this basic library and all these things that depend on these backends will be also recompiled and if you are using the official Arch repositories like the uh, community and uh, what else, the extra and the core, these are the three basic repositories, these contain these binaries and the managers of these uh, of the packages will always recompile so if you pull up uh, Pacman and you check versions there will be this kind of underscore 2 which means that the underlying software version did not change it is a new build of the same code but based on maybe an upgraded dependency and so this is usually going to uh, work there are some cases which uh, happened even to me uh, last year when like the GNOME 
uh, the GTK, GTK toolkit got updated and even though like the uh, budget desktop which was the desktop environment I was using at the time have been rebuilt against this uh, updated toolkit but the functionality uh, of this uh, of the GNOME stack basically changed in a way so that the budget desktop could not be used and so that kind of prog problem can appear it's it's not really often so especially so if you use software that are in the core and the extra repositories these things should not happen too often in even in case of uh, things that are in the uh, community repository these software are usually so not rebuilt and tested properly before they uh, get into the, the the repositories but there are a lot of packages so it can happen that something breaks and so if something breaks then um, what you can do is uh, I wanted to go back to here so we can uh, use that we downgrade the package that uh, screwed up the dependencies but so what is the problem here that for example you can downgrade this uh, maybe maybe this is your software this AA this uh, program is just not working with this new version of this toolkit so you want to go back to a previous version of this toolkit so you can run this software but then now this will break so basically what happens is that if you just roll back this uh, dependency so it will fit this program then now this dependency does not fit this uh, other program anymore so this is why i think just uh, going back and installing a previous version from the uh, pacman cache is not really a good idea what i would do and what i have done at uh, that time was just basically restore all the packages to a specific date so i also have a video i did that video last year when this issue um, affected me personally and so uh, i will also link that video you can find that and so in that case you just best case you make a a, a copy uh, an archive co archive a copy of your mirror list for the time being and create a new mirror list which will li link to this archive this Ar arch linux archive repository with the exact date to so like you find the last date when your system was working and you downgrade all the packages back to that date and this is the my last slide here is basically like you can see maybe uh, in these uh, four days there is always some update so this package's new version was prepared so these have been rebuilt and then the new versions have been introduced here and the next day new version was introduced here so maybe this new version that was introduced in this uh, 12 day update this broke your package like this one is broken but this is working so you should not just roll back this package only because well one of these applications will be broken anyways but if you just roll your whole system back to like the 11th then here in this case everything will be working and basically you just submit a bug report or something and when it turns out that uh, everything is working finally then you just restore uh, your um, your mirror list to your um, saved archived file and you can start rolling ahead with the uh, newer versions and actually I have another slide here so because the, all this thing even if Luke's video would have only consisted about this I would still have probably made this response video but what happened in his case is that the package that was not working the program that broke was actually a package that he built himself from the AUR based on like a, a git version of that uh, particular program and so whenever you use the AUR you should uh, be prepared that it is always the system administrators 
who is you. So it is always your responsibility to upgrade or rebuild the foreign packages. And so AUR packages are considered foreign packages in this case. They are not from the repositories. So you have to keep in mind that whenever you update your whole system, you should check the AUR packages, whether they build or they, they work or not. And if they don't work, maybe you should rebuild them. And also if you use an AUR helper, which so in, in this channel, we use uh, the AUR utils, AUR helper, but whatever you might be using. And so that case, you should be familiar with how to force rebuilds in this AUR helper. So whenever you upgrade your whole system, maybe you will have to rebuild some of your AUR packages and uh, well, you should be aware of that if you choose to use programs from the AUR. And so this is the end of this video. So now you know where what videos to look up if your art system breaks. And well, now maybe you understand a little more about how dependencies work. And if you are more in the know, then it is less likely that you will make a mistake that screws up your system or you will be able to effectively fix your system if something goes wrong. So if you enjoyed this video, consider giving a thumbs up, upvote or something. If you have any questions, comments, you want to argue with me, then you can do it down in the comment section. And well, why don't you follow me or uh, subscribe to the channel or something if you are interested in more Arch Linux and Linux and free software and other related topics. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.